People are getting sick and dying everywhere in the world. We are in the biggest crisis everywhere. But situation in Thailand now is quite serious because of the poor management and the mismanagement of the government. It caused more suffering to people. People are dying in everywhere. People get sick and no access to medical service everywhere. Even business, they cannot run as normal. Many people bankrupt. Many people close down their business. Many people get stressed and have depressed. It's a lot of suffering attack people everywhere. In this situation, what can we do? For Thai people, we quite desperate because we don't have enough vaccine, we don't have enough medical service. People just facing their sickness lonely. How can we solve this problem? So for us, we are a small group of people in the name of Tam Thurakit. Tam Thurakit is a company. It means fair business. Our main idea of this business is we promote self-reliant and self-sufficient. Self-reliant means rely on ourselves and rely on each other. So in this situation, what we can do now is we try to help each other as much as we can. The first thing is we don't have knowledge, we don't have medicine in the conventional way to help people. What we can do now is just try to use local wisdom that we know some. We use a lot of herbs to help. It will not heal, it will not help 100%, but it helps to relieve sickness, relieve pain, relieve suffering for many people. Instead of waiting for conventional way from the government, which is never come so far, and then people die while waiting. We don't need to wait to die. We will try to find anywhere to any way to help us experiment more. This is show us how we discard our old wisdom of healing. In this crisis, we have no choice now. Most of people don't have all wisdom in their head at all. They cannot think what can help us. And a lot of people have some belief that alternative healing or local wisdom for healing is not practical. So they just refuse it completely and waiting for conventional healing. But when we have no conventional healing, that means many people are just waiting to die. This is what we learn from this situation. Now we start to go back to experiment more, to learn more about local wisdom for healing. We still have some people who have knowledge about this, who have some wisdom about it. We learn that 
One recipe that helps us a lot is we use something that we have in our kitchen. We use lemongrass, onion, ginger, turmeric, kaffir lime leaves, or a few other plants. Boil them and drink them and smell them. Smell, inhale it very deep. It helps many people to breathe better and it helps people to feel more relaxed while they are waiting for a conventional way of healing. And then many people feel better and better. So now, what we can do, we, in the name of the company, the Tam Turukit or Fair Business Company now, we cannot run business as normal. So now we just ask our member or shareholder all over the country to sense all the herbal plant that they have in their area to us. And then we can make a tea, herbal tea, to give to people in the city where they have no access to these herbs. And then some people, they have no kitchen. They are homeless people, they are poor people. They don't have house, they don't have kitchen. So we boil a lot of earth, give it for free to people in many places in Bangkok. At least it helps people to have some hot tea to suit themselves, to make them feel relaxed and breathe easier. So this working well so far. And in the same time, we know that there's some kind of bitter plants. I don't know the name in English, but it worked quite well. That help to relieve fever or sickness for many people. So this plant, we use a lot in Thailand now. And then now our company asks all members in the country to send this to us. We will process them and give them for free to people who need it everywhere. So this is the way we help ourselves. Because people who are farmers, they have this herb everywhere. So they can send to us and then we pay, the company pay for transportation. So the farmer donate herbs, company donate the cost of transportation and the management and give it to people for free. This is only one thing that we can do in this situation because we have no resources in conventional healing. We have no doctor, we have no money, no medicine, no vaccine. Even government don't have anything too. So it's not fun to waiting to die. So we need to struggle to try to experiment more to find solution for ourselves. And the second thing that we do for self-reliant for us now is we open two restaurants in Bangkok during the COVID crisis. All business closed down. It's not possible for people to keep running their normal business, especially restaurant. It's very hard to survive because they locked down the country. People cannot go out and eat. How can you open restaurant? But we have to open restaurant when people close down. Because we need to help ourselves. Ourselves mean 13,000 people. That's, that's ourselves. Because 13,000 people is the people who own this company, who bought the chair from this company. So in this 13,000 people, there are many farmers 
who grow vegetable, grow rice, grow fruit. There are many fishermen who are catching fish. So these people, how can they survive in this situation? Where can they sell their stuff? When the transportation and everything disrupt, were disrupted completely. So they suffer. So we need to help because they are ourselves. In the same time, the people in the city, they bought chair from us too. They suffer too because they want good food, the food with no chemical, no hormone, the food that we know where it comes from. They need good food when they have the crisis, health crisis right now. That's why we think different from normal people. Normal people close down business, but we open business. So now, after we open two restaurants in Bangkok, the first thing is we cook food and give it for free to medical staff in the hospital. These people, they work non-stop. They eat very bad food. Many people don't have time to eat. They work so much because patient is everywhere. It's too many patients for them. So what we can do is just make a good food, give it to them for free. Three meals a day. That's the first thing we did for our restaurant now. And then more people see that we do this thing and then they join us, they support us. They donate some money for us too. So this is the way we think about self on and mean it means we rely on ourselves and rely on each other. In the same time, there are many people who got the virus and they have to quarantine themselves at home. They cannot go out. They have no food. They have they cannot come to get our herbal plant, herbal tea from us. We have the application that they can apply to our application. And we have volunteer from the company will deliver tea to their house in the Bangkok area. So even COVID, even the crisis happened, but we cannot stop living. We still alive. We have to help ourselves and help each other. So this is the way I think it's important to think about self-reliance. Seriously. Because the crisis like this, we don't know when it will end. And then we don't know how often it will come to our life in the near future. I think we cannot ignore our own wisdom about healing, about food, about sharing, about helping each other. Even we civilized, we have technology, we have many things, we have a lot of money, but we cannot ignore this part of our life. I think it's necessary. So, Tam Trukit or Fair Business is the model that we want to get the people who think the same way together. And we, we, are, we work like an NGO, but we are not NGO. We are a company because we are not very good about looking for funding from somewhere else. So we want to rely on ourselves. That's why we have to be business. But this business has to be fair for everybody and help everybody. So it's very good learning for us to think about the way of living more than normal way that we have now. We need to think back, learn from the past, 
think about the future and how we combine together. So when we talk about self-reliance, many people always think that if you self-reliant mean you don't do you don't rely on anything outside. You refuse money, you refuse technology, you refuse all the progressive world. But actually, it's not like that. Self-reliance means we did not refuse anything. We use everything, but we use with mindfulness. We use it with consciousness. We use it because of we have to use it. But we did not use it because of we become slave of it. That's the main thing. This is the meaning of self-reliance in the crisis time. We help ourselves as much as we can. We are not going to waiting for help from outside only without, without helping ourselves. We are fishermen. We are farmers. We want to produce food in the most sustainable way. We want to have food left for our next generations. We connect to consumer in the city. We try to consume the natural resources in a sustainable way. And what we are doing may be so tiny compared to other projects, but we try to do our best.